of Baton Rouge are asking for help from their local leaders when it comes to their safety. And today, a discussion panel with Baton Rouge leaders provided answers. NBC Local 33's Jacqueline Kissick sat in on that meeting and breaks down their plan of action for the capital city. In Baton Rouge, violent crimes has surged since the start of the pandemic. People are demanding action and solutions from local leaders. One of the things that I've noticed is in call out that we're seeing more violent crimes, a lot of domestic violence, a lot of crimes with guns. According to the Baton Rouge Police Department, homicides rose from nearly 47% from 2019 to 2020. We have to get the community involved. The leadership of Baton Rouge alumni asked local leaders how they plan to take action and solve these problems. We have to let them know that we care about them and for them to care about themselves also. The panel has a strategy. We can't control what happens next door, but we can absolutely control what happens in this house. And when each house does that, that's how we begin to have an impact, when each house focuses on just their house. Law enforcement has noticed teens are increasingly involved in crimes. Well, one of the things that I think is a good strategy is when everybody comes to the table together and it's being addressed as a community and not as individual organizations. Baton Rouge leaders say it's important that the community works together. In Baton Rouge, Jacqueline Kissick, NBC Local 33 News.